Welcome viewers to the final part of our four part series of an hour in the life of an elite dangerous trader. Uh, last episode we lucked out and we got a 13 grand profit from a from a trade. I thought it was bogus but it ended up being good so yeah, a bit lucky. Um, so this episode again we're going to do two trades and two trips again and let's see how we go to finish out the series. A few guys like this series and want me to continue, I'm happy to, just let me know in the comments. Alright, so we'll get on with the lead OCR task. This this uh, data is over 300 minutes old, so of course with my policy, I'm going to update it. Screenshots go on. I remember I was going to uh, show you how to cut out half of one, we're going to cut out reactive armor, half, and screen cap it, and show you what happens. And then we're going to get it in full, just so I guess it does get, actually get captured in the end. Add those four screenies, I think it's four, yes. OCR and all. I'm not sure why there's an OCR just for a single one, why you wouldn't go all. Here's a little one, the Sousa, I'm betting it's going to say the D's could be an O. See? They just select the right one. Add and next. Yep. And this should prompt us when it gets to reactive armor. I think that's how it works. Hmm. Oh yeah, it should be this one. So there we go, see it's picked up half reactive armor and it's tried to predict what it's saying, but it's no, it's got something totally wrong. And it's got no correction there. So you just go skip. Then you continue on with the rest of them. And done. See, it's got our reactive armor there, which was happened to be our last one. Good. Export that. Clear. And there is the screenshots. I'm going to update that real quick. Um, we're not a Caprini, we're a D'Souza. save. Right, we'll do a quick search from here and see what, what we've got to work with. Nothing too fancy, but um, you know, that's what we're doing. There's a new system, so I mean, and it's 4,000 minutes old, so you never know, it could go up, could go down. I think we'll give that a go. We'll just wait till the data updates and, you know, make sure it's accurate, as can be. Data upload completed. Done. That was a quick one. Good. Market update completed. Oh, that's a 29. I've never seen that. Yep, so profits, max profit we can get is 4648. If you do show this distance, it will actually. Yeah, you know, deselect them and select them, and it'll show you actual light years. I think that is. Yep. So it's eight. We can't make that. So it's at least two jumps. We know. I don't. Don't like to clutter it up too much. Um. All right. Foods and animal meat. Now we're going to Evans Hub, and we'll just check if we can get there. So back to our leap. Kronos. <laughs> So it's two jumps, it's good. And yeah, this is all new new area I've never been to, so that's that's in line with what we wanted to do, what I wanted to do. What are we getting? Foods animal meat. Refuel. Over here from a little stack before. Getting too cocky. Off we go. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear. Landing gear retracted. So I pretty much extended my video length out to um 20 minutes now. I was finding that I really can't get in two trays in 15 minutes. It's been like the travel is what takes the longest. 
part. Um, not necessarily the number of jumps, it's the actual getting from the to the station in the system you need to be. That, that's what that's what takes up the time. Yeah, it's up to two three minutes of wasted time, I guess. I could probably cut that out if I wanted to. If you want me to, let me know. Boost. Oh, didn't need to do that. Warp. Frameship drive charging. I'm gonna go to Evans Hub and I'm gonna show you why. I'll just alt tab it. Um, let's take this way back to zero. I'll show you in Slopey's BBC. Okay, so we've got up the top here, we've got Kronos Evans Hub and Kronos Water Refinery. The profit, identical. So it doesn't matter which one to go to, but see the last updated. The water refinery is, uh, sorry, Walter refinery is 902 minutes, whereas the Evans Hub is 4,300 odd. I'm going to go to this one, take the hit. Likely the profit's going to be exactly the same, the price is going to be the same, but I want to update that. You know, that that's pretty old data, so doing a community favour and get that updated. That's the way I see it. Alright, so let's go. It's a long way away. Just for your info, I've never ever played Elite before, any form of the game before. You know, the, I think it's 30 years old or something, the original. I know nothing about the lore, nothing about the game apart from you know the few tutorials I took at the start, the videos and whatnot. I picked this game up because a few mates were playing it and I like it. I love Space Sims, I loved Eve, apart from the fact you need to commit your whole life to play the game. So, yeah, I picked up this. And uh, it's been fun. Whoops, not paying attention. Want to do that? Tilt off about 30 degrees. And come back. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Slow. We should change that command to something different because it's not really slow, is it? 75%, 3 quarters, whatever. Let me know what you think I should change it to.
so far just to get from the star to drop. Just to get to there, it's taken you know, 2 minutes 20 seconds. So in my opinion, I reckon they can, they can speed that process up. That's, there's no need to have it such a long, take such a long time to get to a station. Yeah, maybe I know I know it's not Eve, but maybe something similar to that where you can warp to within the station. Dock. Docking request granted. Boost. Can't see my pad on this side, so that's must be on the other side, eh? Landing gear. Landing gear deployed. Loitering fraction, eh? Whoa, there's a big tower there I need to avoid. Compromised. I don't think I hit anything there. Maybe just touch the right wing, eh? Docking successful. Engines disengaged. So, from star to there, that took four whole minutes. Yeah, a bit long for me. I like him. Doesn't seem that long, really, in the context, though, does it? Alright, animal meat. As expected, it's the same price. So, another bit of profit, great. Alright, let's do the capture. Confused, confusing myself. Just gonna pause there. Right, I'm back. Just got uh, called away for a little bit there. Um, I think we got up the first screenshot, but we'll just redo them all again. Just in case I missed something. Explosives down the. Um, no, it didn't add the mods on him yet. Explosives down the reactive armor. All looks good, yeah. Cool. Support that. That's right. Take my money. 110. That's wrong. 110. And it's getting near enough money, so I don't have to worry about updating that um, for this ship. hub is as up to date as it can be. All past. Market update completed. And let me search. There we go. And we'll find our last 
trip of it. Oh, look, it's a good profit. Don't want to go max, or do I want to keep going to somewhere else? I'm going to keep going to somewhere else. Yeah, it's going to lose two grand, two thousand two hundred. But whatever. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get to that. Cocagina. Market update completed. Um, did I enter the wrong? Coco Gina. How many jumps? There? Three jumps. It's back pass Manx. Look, because it's back pass Manx, I'm going to take that anyway. Well, actually, where's where's Ho C? Let's find out where Ho C is here. This is well. It's two jumps. Might well, take that one. Yeah. And I think can get back to Max and that way anyway. All right. So we're gonna buy some gallium. We're going this line. Silver. We're gonna buy silver. Fourteen of them. Up. Done it again. I did it again. Maybe we're not. Still, still get silver. So we'll still get silver. Get down to metals. Silver. Axeria. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Yeah, did I set this my target? Yeah, I did. And off we go. Boost. Warp. Frame shift drive charging. So this will be the final, uh, as you already know, final video in this four-part series. Um, four, between the end of this video three, and if two, I do make another one, set of videos, engage. I'll be uh, making my way up to 500,000 credits, getting myself the next ship, ship upgrade, the outfitting, and leaving myself enough credits to fill the cargo hold of said ship. Charging. Yeah, so if you guys want to see anything in my videos, please pass comment, uh, change my voice attack commands, make them a bit cooler, I guess. Four, three, yeah, comment again. Two, one, engage. Any tips, tricks? Always welcome. I'm by no means. An expert of this game. I'm going to the hand ring.
a bit like Mars. What I imagine Mars look like. Drop. I hate these ones. I never know which side to go for first. Sometimes you're lucky and it comes into view, but... <laughs> yeah. Dock. Docking request granted. Boost. That side over there. Must be this one coming up. Successful. Engine All right, we'll sell this silver. All right, that's the same as what Slopey's told me, so that's good. Now it's up to date. It's only 600 minutes for all that stuff. Alright, that, um, that's the end of this video, end of the end of this hour, and a bit, in the life of a Elite Dangerous Trader. Hope you enjoyed. Post any comments in the comments section. Um, what I can do better, what I do, what I do good, what I can add, what I can take out, etc, etc. Cheers and thanks for watching. Bye.